If you guys need an electrical outlet, but as you can see, there's no electrical outlet here, stay tuned to this video and I'll show you how easy it is to install one. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dean and It Yourself. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install an outlet when there's no outlet, as you can see, if you wanted to add an outlet. Um, people run into this problem a lot. Sometimes, you know, you need to plug some, something in and there's no outlet. So let's jump into it. I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. It's not as complicated as you think. Uh, there are a couple steps you have to follow and then it should be pretty simple. I'm going to try and break it down for you as simple as possible. And the first thing you want to do is find out, locate where you want to install your electrical outlet. In this case, I'm in my closet. I don't really care where it is as long as it's somewhere in this area here. Um, so what you want to do next is, since there's no power readily available here, you look around the adjacent walls to see if there's any power outlets located anywhere around. In this case, since I'm inside my closet, there are none. However, on the other side of this wall here, there is an electrical outlet because that's my bedroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on the other side and take a look at where that outlet is and see where we can tap off of that outlet to add an outlet in here. The main thing when adding an outlet, if you have one on the adjacent, adjacent wall, it's easier to install an outlet between the same studs. What do I mean by that? If I look behind this wall and I find that outlet, I want to try and locate the studs where that outlet falls in between and translate that to this side of the wall. That way I don't have to cut across any studs. It will all be within the, in between the same studs just on the opposite side of the wall. It makes it a lot easier when um, adding an outlet if you stay within the same two studs that way you don't have to damage the drywall much. In this case I'm not going to damage it at all. I'm just going to basically cut a hole on this side and put a box in on this side and tap into the outlet on the other side. Alright, let's take a look and see if we can locate the outlet and find the studs. Alright guys, as you notice, if you can see, we found our outlet on the other side of the wall located here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to try and locate the studs. I have here a magnetic stud finder. It's one of my favorite tools to use. Um, there are two types actually. Um, I prefer this one and they also have one like this. What this does is it pretty much finds the nails or screws that go into the studs so you know exactly where the studs are located. Um, so we're going to try and find the first one. Usually when the outlets are installed, there's going to be a stud either on this side of the outlet or on this side of the outlet. So we can pass our magnetic tool along the side and there you go. So now we know we have a stud here and um, I'm going to try and look. My outlet needs to be somewhere on this side. So I'm going to try and find the stud on the opposite side from here. There we go, looks like we located it. If we measure in between the studs, usually studs are either 16 or 24 inches on center. In this case, you can see here, they're about 24 inches on center. 24 inches. So what I'm gonna do next now is, I wanna locate this stud on the inside of my closet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from this wall to this stud so when I go behind the wall, I can translate that dimension. So I'll locate this stud. Based on this dimension, we're about 17 or 18 inches away from the wall. It's the first stud. So what I'm gonna do is when I go inside the closet and I measure 18 inches, I'll use this stud finder. And once I find a stud in that general vicinity, then I'll know I've located this stud and 24 inches away will be that outlet. So that's the space that I'm working with. Ideally, on the opposite side of the wall, I'd like to locate my outlet somewhere here so I don't have much of a run. It will be like maybe a foot or a foot and a half away from that outlet. And that should serve me well enough. All right guys, the next step is to remove the wall plate on the outlet. 
there are two screws, one located here, one located here. Uh, we can remove these screws and the outlet will be able to come out. Now that we have the outlet out, we can go ahead and try and locate which side is the power side and which side is the neutral side. Now we can pull the outlet up and we can test to see which is our hot wire. In this case, if you guys, if you guys haven't already seen my video, um, go ahead and check it out. It's where I go over the basics of electrical wiring. But just based on this, I can really tell we have our ground screw right here. This wire here is our neutral. And on this side, our black wire is our hot. Just to verify it, I'm gonna use my uh, voltmeter or multimeter. If you guys don't have one of these, I suggest you do get one. And they're pretty easy to use. My grounding screw here should give me 110 volts. There you go, 120 volts. So we know which side is the hot and which side is the neutral. I'm gonna have to run a cable now from here to the new box that I'm gonna install on the other side. So what I'll do is I'm gonna remove the cables so I can take a look inside the box. If you guys can see right here, we have some space. I'm gonna drill a hole right here and pass my power cable through here. This is the cable I'm gonna be passing through. It's called Romex. It's got cables, it's got three cables inside. Now let's go ahead and drill the hole. I like to drill it in the corner, the bottom corner away from the other cables. And there you go. We got a nice little hole already drilled in our box. Now we can go ahead and turn off the breaker so we don't get electrocuted. Now we can go ahead and push our Romex cable through. All right, let's go inside the closet and open the hole for the new box and see if we can pull that wire through. Now that I'm back in the closet, I wanna see if I can locate that stud. I know it was about 18 inches from the wall, so it means that it's gonna be located somewhere in this general vicinity. Once again, I can try and use my stud finder and there it is. Okay, so now I know that on this side over here is where the outlet is. And I know from this location to the other stud is 24 inches. So I'm gonna try and locate my outlet somewhere. Let me slide this down a little bit more. Somewhere around here. That way my hand can reach through, it won't be more than a foot away from where my hand is. All right, let's go ahead and open up the hole in the drywall right here and see if we can find the cable that we pushed through. Now that we've located the general vicinity of our outlet box, somewhere around here, we have to figure out how we're going to install it. What I have here is a box that's going to receive the cable from the back. It's going to come through one of these uh, tabs right here um, To mount this we cut the drywall and slide the box directly in and these tabs up here When we tighten these screws these tabs flip up on the top and the bottom and they tighten up on the drywall holding this box in place and That way we'll be able to have the outlet in a firm box and an enclosed box, which is what you want Now that I have my box and I wanted to install it somewhere around here what I'm going to do is flip the box over and I want to make sure that the box is level, which is where this little stud finder comes in handy because it has a little level. That's about level right there. That's about level right there. And then what I do is I mark it here on the sides, on the bottom, on the other side. There we go. And now I just have to make a cut with this outline and my box should be able to fit in there. 
I use my drywall tool. This is a pretty handy tool. It makes light work out of cutting drywall. Now I can try and reach in and see if I can find that wire. Here it is. Okay. That's not too bad. So what we can do now is we can take our box and you'll see a tab here. We can bend it and push this cable through. What I like to do sometimes is use a screwdriver and bend that tab a little bit so that the cable comes through a little easier. Sometimes this, the tab can be a little tight. All we need to do now is connect our outlet and put on our cover plate and then we can finish our terminations and the power on the other side. What we need to do now is strip the wire and expose the wires. And as you can see here, we have our three wires. We have the, we have the black, which is hot, the white, which is neutral, and our copper, which is the ground. On our switch, it's pretty easy. This one is labeled, but you can see here, um, this is labeled white, this is labeled hot, um, and our ground screw is right here. This one is good because it has push pins, so all I have to do is push the wires in here and it will lock in place. On this one, notice here you have a strip gauge. I don't know if you can see it here, but this is how much of the wire you need to strip back. That should be it. Easy, easy, easy. So we'll take the black, which is hot, and insert it into, we'll do it like this. So we'll insert it into here. It doesn't matter which one you do, whether it's the top or the bottom, because they're both connected. So we'll insert the black. We'll insert the white. And if, I don't know if you can hear that, but it clicks in place. And lastly, we'll install the ground screw right here. Now it's all done. All we have to do now is just install Push this back in like this. All right, now that our outlet is in, we just put on our cover plate, tighten up our screws, and we are done. We just have to go on the other side now and make our final connections for the power. Now that we're back in a room, we're going to repeat the same process like we did in the closet. We're going to first start by stripping the cable and exposing the wires. And we're going to repeat the process, connect the white to white, the black to black, and the ground to ground. In this case, the outlet had push pins just like the one in the closet. So I'm just going to push them in on the same side. So the white would go on the white side, the black will go on the hot side, and the ground, I'll attach the two grounds to the same uh, grounding screw. Now that we've connected all the cables, it's time to tighten up all the screws all around. And I like to add some electrical tape just to prevent any future shocks. Once this is done, we can push all our wires back into the box and put our outlet back in, tighten up the screws, 
and we should be all set to go. Final step will be to turn on the breaker and then test all the outlets to make sure that we have power on both the outlet in the room and the outlet in the closet. And now we're all done. We have our outlet in the closet and our cover plate is back on the original outlet. We have power in the closet. So now we're done. All right guys, thanks for watching. And hopefully now you'll be able to add an outlet wherever you need it following these simple instructions. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And I hope to catch you guys next time in the next video. Thanks for watching.